Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be doing part two of the gingerbread couple. Last time, part one, I did the gingerbread man and today I'll be showing you how to make the dress. The gingerbread lady is made the same as the man. The materials I'll be using are blue crochet cotton. You could use wool if you'd prefer. I've got a fine white cotton for the flowers. I've got sewing thread and a sewing needle to stitch the dress together and onto the gingerbread lady. I've got scissors, my crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in my ends and my gingerbread lady. Now I'm starting at the bottom of the dress. I'm using blue and I start with 20 chain. I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each chain to the end. Rows 2 to 10 are worked the same. We start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch until, until the last two and we work a joined single crochet over the last two. So in the second last stitch we put our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop and then put our hook into the next stitch, the last stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around and through our three loops. So we continue like that, one chain and turn 
and a single crochet in each stitch to the last two and work a joined single crochet over the last two until we have 10 rows done and after that we've got the one chain and 10 single crochet. So I'll work those rows and I'll be back. Now that's up to row 10 done. I've got one chain and 10 single crochet. My work's sloping in nicely on both sides. Now rows 11 and 12 will work the same. One chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch. Now that's the skirt part of the dress done. I'm now going to start on the bodice. I start with one chain and work one single crochet into the first two stitches, into each of the first two stitches, and then a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. And then I work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet in the next stitch and work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and then work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch that's left and then fasten off. For the other side, we miss the first two stitches, the next two there, and join our cotton into the next one. So we're going to be working on the last four stitches. So we start with one chain and then work a joined single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and the next stitch, and then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then we work one chain and turn and work one single crochet in the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches and then one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and then one chain and turn and work a single crochet into the stitch that's left. Now I'll just weave in my ends because I find it easier. I haven't fastened this one off because we're going to work around the edge to neaten it. So I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back. Now my ends are finished off. To neaten the edge I start with one chain and then work a single crochet into the same place as the chain and then I work a single crochet into each stitch. I just find a suitable place to put my hook so it doesn't show up too much and just work around. I don't pull too tight so my work stays fairly flat.
Now along the bottom, to get this little frilly piece, I work two chain between each of my single crochet. And it just gives a little bit of a frill along the bottom. So I'll finish around the edge and end it off and I'll be back and I'll show you how to do the flowers. There's the dress done. I'll show you how to do the flowers now. I've got fine cotton. It's about a number 20. And I make a magic loop and work one chain. Now into my circle I work a single crochet and then five chain. Now I repeat that four more times. So a single crochet and five chain. We need five petals. Once I've got my five petals, I pull the circle tight and then slip stitch into the chain. And fasten off. I'll make another two flowers and I'll be back to show you how to put it together. The first thing I do is stitch my flowers onto the bottom of the dress. And I've got my ribbon. I'll just stitch my ribbon probably around there and I attach it around the back as well. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back. Now there's the dress finished. The next thing I do is stitch it onto the gingerbread lady. Just like that. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished gingerbread lady. And there's the finished gingerbread lady. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.